Hey, what's up, you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. What is Hacker GPT? And can it help me in bug bounties? Can it help me in pen testing? Can this thing make money for me? That is the biggest question of today. I'm gonna answer that because I've been testing and I've made a separate account so you don't see all of my chats. But in here, you can see a few of my chats, some things that I've tried. And this is Hacker GPT version two that I'm testing right now. Just for funsies, I've also tested version one, but here you cannot upload any files or anything like that. And I've tested a few things out, mostly with Hacker GPT version two. So in this case, the very first thing I asked it is, what would be the best plan of attack for my own website? It says that it cannot browse it, so at this point, like, there's no browsing capabilities, or at least that I know of, that is one thing. Okay, so far, not a huge problem, like, not everybody needs to have that, but it can execute specific tools. So, tools like Subfinder and stuff like that. If I start a new chat, for example, I can, in here... Ooh, that is not what I need. I need this. Then I can select plugins. Plugins like Subfinder, Cyberchef, Gao, and I can also, of course, install others like Alter X, but all of them you can see here. Subfinder, Cyberchef, Nuclear, Katana, HTPX, Nabu, Gao, and Alter X. So those can be executed from here. Is this useful? Well, to a degree, I would say yes. It complains a lot less than ChatGPT. But the next questions already gave me a little bit of a, a little bit of an iffy feeling. So the next things that I've tried to do is to get it to write a script, and it crashed on me. Maybe it's just because it's like some kind of beta stuff still, but I don't like that. It didn't do anything. Then I tried to upload files. I cannot upload files. I'll admit I'm on an iPad, but it's still just Chrome. I cannot upload my free game file for the life of me. Very simple PDF file, very simple image file. I cannot get it uploaded. So it is very unfortunate, but okay, so far, I mean, it's a hacker GPT. I have to expect some difficulties, right? So I asked it to write me a script. I asked it to write, first of all, I asked it to hack Facebook because everybody knows Facebook. I would think that this thing is familiar with Facebook. I would think that maybe it could give me a very specific attack plan or things to check for, but not really. Something like top 20 privilege escalation techniques for Linux. I don't know what it bases this top 20 on, but it does do it, so it is there. And then I asked it to write a proof of concept for any of these. But here you can see that it often says write a proof of concept, write a proof of concept, write a proof of concept. Okay, but I would, you know, I would really like some concrete technical examples of that. It's still nothing really concrete, technical, do this. Then I asked it for a very specific picture first. <laughs> that was my issue. But a proof of concept, here it says that understand the vulnerability, create the proof of concept, you will need to write a program that creates a script, blah, blah, blah. So I asked it, really write that proof of concept for me. It seems like it's not capable of doing that at this point. So basically, or at least it, it said it didn't. I'm not capable of writing code or scripts directly, but this seems to be a high level outline. I'm like, what the hell are you saying? This is what I'm asking for, basically. So I don't know what its deal is, but I think it sometimes underestimates itself a little bit as well. It can create proof of concepts if you ask it nicely. Again, we give it a little bit of words of encouragement. So then I told it to look for really, really, basically didn't say anything, I played dumb, how to improve the security and what to hack. And here it directly goes for subfinder on the domain example.com. So I don't know what's up with that. Nothing major there, but I just wanted to show that when you see the amount of subdomains that this thing has found with subfinder, it's subfinder. So it will find a good amount of subdomains. And then you could ask it to do things on top of that. But it seems like this could be a security risk for the creators because if it is possible to produce lists this big. I could ask it follow-up questions. I could really maybe do some denial of service text there. So that, that's basically it for that section. Then I wanted to write me a few scripts. 
some basic scripts. I did pretty well on that, decent on that, nothing to complain about. I asked some follow-up questions and did know the context of the script that it wrote before. But then I asked it a little bit more complicated. The script to find the subdomains, find the parameters, try SQL injection and XSS on those. And it needs to be multi-threaded. I want to split up the list of subdomains and I want to feed it to threads in batches for the processing for parameter mining and exploitation, but it needs to also be able to resume and the batch size should be variable. As it stands, it did do a pretty decent job of it, I would say. Like I did get something out of it, but you can already see here often implement logic to handle, implement logic to handle. That is something that I didn't want. So I was like, complete me that script, please. But even then it left a little bit gaps here, like the implementation of the access attack or whatever. But still, it did a pretty decent job. I mean, you're not going to complain too much. It's just that after a little while, you can see that it has to add too much code. It gets stuck. I think that's the token limit that has been reached or whatever. But all in all, the previous version, it didn't do a whole lot better. It also said, use this, implement this, blah, blah, blah. So basically, it is definitely worth getting, I would say, depending on your use case. If you're somebody who is still learning a lot and who still needs to ask a lot of these questions, like write a proof of concept or whatever, I wouldn't get it because then you're not really learning how to do it. If you're more of an intermediate advanced and who is more like, I have this specific scenario that I need a proof of concept for, but I'm too lazy to write it, or I have this attack plan or I have whatever, then it might be worth it, but I would like them to see those technical bugs fixed of uploading files, because that would be really fucking cool. You could upload your files, here, but you could also create collections of files, which would really help you create specific bots for what you're hacking. So I do see the use case in this for sure. Can it help you? For sure. There's no doubt about it. Give me a list of SQL injection attacks. But I can, most of this, I can get ChatGPT to do as well. Oh, there we go. I've already hit my cat limit on this account. I can get ChatGPT to do as well. If I'm a little bit convincing, if I do a little bit of prompt engineering, I can get most of this out of ChatGPT. So is it worth it for me? Not specifically. I already have ChatGPT Pro. The thing is really serving me well. So if you're somebody who is more on the lookout for a tool like this, definitely think about getting the Pro version because the token limit isn't that big. Like I haven't been chatting like that long on this account, but why not, right? It's like 20 bucks a month. I mean, that's a couple of coffees and you're done. Jesus Christ, some people go to Starbucks and like some of their most expensive drinks are like 10 bucks or something. So just do Starbucks drinks and you're out of there. This is definitely a tool that could be useful, but only if you're often needing like an assistant who you can ask basic hacking questions, not too advanced, but it's pretty good. It, it's, I see this as like a sort of a research assistant, like a professor who's writing a paper, he's also gonna have a research assistant. This can be your research assistant a little bit. Thank you, my friends. I hope you enjoyed and I wish you a fine evening, good day or whatever part of the day you are in. I see you in the next one. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. Would you use ChatGPT or would you use even HackerGPT to do any of your hacking tasks? And how do you use it? I'm more interested in that. How do you use it for your tasks? Thanks so much, amazing hackers. I will see you in the next one. Bye.